I'll fare all right without you for a little while. Tis not our place to hurry the Arisen. Just be sure you mind your manners. So, you've returned. I confess, I thought you might not. I was ready to set well. Did you find what you were looking for? I am not in the mood for- Do not forget. So, I confess, I thought you might- Well, did you find what you were looking for? Thank you. I can't believe you found this. All that remains is to end that man's life with my own hands. I've no other tasks for you, this... Unless you intend to see this through till the end. You're a curious one, aren't you? But what's just is that I can't bring myself to refuse you. All right, if you're offering your aid, then I'll gladly accept it. Come with me. Allard is in the room to the left. Go in and restrain him for me. Never mind the mask. At last, what is this? Don't let him escape. Get your hands off me, you fiend! Don't you know who I am? You hang for this impudence! Oh, Allard. I've always wanted to see you like this. That, that voice. Wilhelmina. But why? Why would you? Do you still fail to recall? Even with this mask staring you in the face. But I suppose for a man such as you, a little murder here or there is hardly worth remembering. What mockery is this? In your youth, you slew two individuals. The merchant whom you served... ...and his wife. They had a child, as I am sure you are aware. A newborn babe who was spirited away by her loyal wet nurse. You mean to tell me you were their child? How can this be? Your mother, she was a beastrum. Surely her child would be one as well. A fair assumption. But for better or worse, I didn't take after my mother. Save for in one respect. For my mother. And this is for my father. The time has come for all your sins to come to light, Allard. I suppose a scream that hideous was bound to attract some attention. We can't leave the way we came in. Fortunately, there's a window here. We've been noticed. I suppose a scream that hideous was... We can't leave the way we came in. Fortunately, there's a window here.
I was afraid I might find you here. I cannot believe you were stooped to such. No. This you will be able to slip out the rear entrance. That was certainly well handled. I suppose I ought not to have expected any less. Pray, visit me at the Myrmacolian tomorrow evening. I'll prepare aught by way of thanks. Till then. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. I cannot believe it. You killed Allard. You realize this could jeopardize our plans for your ascension. I will do what I can to obscure your involvement in this matter. However, bear in mind that you may have to shoulder the burden of your own heedlessness. I've got nothing for ye. you fared? Would you lend your ear to my request? Many thanks. Come to brighten my day with a tale or two. Shall we get some rest then? A good sleep does wonders. Come, we've much to be getting on with. Feeling rested, I trust? Do you know how long you'll be? I only asked so that I might adopt the most effective stance to recuperate my strength. Tis not our place to hurry the arisen.
Thank you. I finally achieved my purpose here, and I owe it all to you. It would seem the residents of the palace have chosen to treat Allard's untimely passing. I imagine they deemed it safer not to make a fuss of the incident, after shrewd as a den of foxes. <laughs> I truly cannot thank you enough. Just this once, I'll give you something special. I'll grant unto you the sweetest of dreams. I know not what I would do without you. You have my thanks, but it's time to say farewell for now. Just know that my bordelry will e'er be your haven, should you have need of it.